Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. As you may have heard, Samsung has released their latest range of the new Galaxy Tab 3 series of tablets with the 7-inch, the 8-inch and the 10-inch variant as you can see in the picture. So we have got three of these bad boys. In this video, we will do a quick overview of all these tablets by comparing their specifications. So these are the successors to the Tab 2 series in the Samsung world and they're supposed to be better so let's take a look at the specifications right now okay so first off is a little brother with a screen resolution of 1024 by 600 which is relatively low by today's standards especially if you compare this to a similarly priced Nexus 7 or Kindle Fire who have been on the market for a while now this tablet will cost you 199 for a Wi-Fi version with 8 giga gigabytes of storage built in yet it sports a micro SD slot for expansion and it is also available in white or brown colors you do get a dual core processor clocked at 1.2 gigahertz with 1 gigabyte of RAM again falling short of similarly priced tablets on the market you also get a 3 megapixels rear facing camera which is capable of recording at 720p but not 1080p however you can play 1080p videos on this tablet though that seems pretty pointless on a low resolution screen like this one now you also get a front facing camera with 1.3 megapixels this tablet is based off of Android operating system Jelly Bean 4.1 which is the older version of Jelly Bean 4.2 being the latest right now and finally you get a 4000 milliamps battery which could last anywhere from four to five to six hours on average okay number two is the middle brother with an eight inch screen again it is available in white or brown colors and it is priced at 299 dollars for the 16 gigabyte wi-fi version they do sell a cellular version internationally which could double up as a phone however it is not available in the US right now anyway you get a 10 uh, 1280 by 800 screen resolution which is higher than the 7 incher you get a dual core processor clocked at 1.5 gigahertz with 1.5 gigabytes of RAM you can actually record and play full HD 1080p videos and you get a nice auto focusing camera in the back with 5 megapixels and a 1.3 megapixels camera in the front the 8 incher is based off of Android Jelly Bean 4.2 so you do get the latest Android running along with the Samsung TouchWiz overlay. There's a built-in LED IR blaster which in conjunction with the built-in watch-on software allows you to control your TV remotely. Now the battery is 4450 milliamp hours. And finally we have the big brother with the biggest screen with 10.1 inches priced at $399 with the Wi-Fi version with 16 gigabytes of storage now we get a screen resolution of 1280 by 800 same as the 8 incher for some reason that only Samsung knows about because on the market we have the iPad and the Nexus 10 that are a couple thousand pixels ahead in resolution and screen quality anyway you get a 1.6 gigahertz dual core processor with this one and only one gigabytes of RAM surprisingly lower than the actual H8 8 incher now you get a 3 megapixels camera on the back with 720p recording capability not 1080p and you also get a 1.3 megapixels front facing camera this version of the tablet also runs on the latest iteration of Android Jelly Bean 4.2 with the latest Samsung TouchWiz overlay and again you also get the IR LED blaster and built-in watch on software which allows you to use your tablet as a remote for your TV uh, the battery on this one is the juiciest with 6800 milliamp hours alright so that brings us to the end of this video in where we compared all the three models of the Galaxy Tab 3 series I'm gonna be making videos individually of each of these products uh, which is to come so stay tuned and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more videos and have a good day